Hello and welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Football Manager 2012 it's the first competitive game of the season is Community Shield against Manchester United but before we start I'll show you what's happened in pre-season um, the top we beat our reserves 8-0 which is obviously a good game Sergio Aguero with 5 of the goals Balotelli helping himself to 2 and then Gal Clichy uh, disappointing nil nil with Al Jazeera. Not really going to do too about that. Four nil against Hereford. Milner Aguero Vesely and Balotelli with the goals. Uh, one nil against Atlas. Fellaini with the goals. I'll go on to talk about Fellaini in a minute. Of course, he's a new signing from Everton. Uh, Jacko and Aguero with the goals against Torquay. Uh, three nil against Toluca. Neda Manua and two for Sergio Aguero. Sergio Aguero is looking prolific here at the minute. And there we go, another two from Sergio Aguero against Panathinaikos. And final preseason game, a 1 0 victory over Flamenco with an Edin Dzeko goal. So let's go and have a look at the transfers. Of course, you can see only one signing in, Maron Floyni, 23 million. Maybe a little bit expensive, but I did try to get him for cheaper, but Everton will be none of it. Sent a few players out on loan, most notably Wayne Bridge to Newcastle. Basically just to keep him match fit, if I do need him at some point. So, let's go to the game. Pick my team. I'm going to use a standard 4-4-2 formation for this game. Um, just because... It seems to work in pre-season quite a lot, so continue a bit. Uh, nice got company, solid partnership. With Michael Richards right back. On the left side of midfield, there's Sammy Nasri as David Silver is injured. And in the middle, uh, Yaya Torre and Marouane Fellaini. And on the right side of midfield, um, I'm going to have James Milner. If I know, no, I don't want to have James Milner. Um, I'll take out for Adam Johnson on the left hand side and something else on the right hand side. And then Sergio Guerrero and Edin Dzeko up front. Mostly just pick some substitutes. I'm not Stefan Savage, uh, Pablo Zalata. Definitely a uh, colour of mm, Nigel Dion, James Milner, I want go on and off for Gareth Barry. So let's go. Number for Fellaini, just give me number 8. So my United line up in the 4-4-2 as well. No Rooney, maybe that bit injury. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'll just change that. Uh, team talk. Passionate about the farmers that usually it's, yeah. Uh, control and retain position. And we're off, okay. Good positive start so far, passing the ball around well. The helpless shot from Jacko, that's never going to go in. Um, yeah, pretty good start to the game so far. And keep on. Well, that was spending a lot of time in the Man United half, which is good. Fellaini with the header there. Of course, a trophy in the first competitive game would be a good start on my way to becoming the most successful manager of all time. Which, obviously, to do that I'd have to overtake Alex Ferguson, which is my opposing manager today, so hopefully we can stop him adding from it, adding to his list of honours, which would go very nicely. Um, 1-0 down, 
Jim's to have a bit of a toss. Well, that's upsetting. But we'd had a bright and positive start and we won 0 down. Right. Especially Bill are tough. I know he was good at Tottenham, but he hasn't really done much at United. I know when he was going to leave Tottenham, we were talking about signing him, and I'm glad we didn't. Although he has just made me eat them words by scoring against us. Oh, Jekka really should have finished that there. Wasting too many chances at the minute, this is not good. My United seem to be in the game a lot more now. Seem to, we seem to be inviting pressure on ourselves, which can only be a bad thing. I'll make some changes at half time to hopefully get us back in the game. Just let this first half play how it is. See if we can nick a goal before half time. Doesn't look oh Berbatov hit the post there from a good strike actually. He's making my eat my own words today. Putting in a really good performance. Man United throw in there. Never going in there from Jason Park. And I believe that is half time, yep. Half time, let's, let's make a change. Um, I'm going to bring James Miller on for Sammy and Asri. Uh, passionate. Uh, hmm. I'm going to say they can play without pressure. It seems relaxed. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Let's see. Hopefully, try and move it out as quickly as possible. Early shot there from United. Looks like they're starting the second half at the end of the first. Oh. Good cross in there from James Milner and the captain, Vincent Company, with the header in. It's one all here at Wembley. Looks like the team talk is telling them to be relaxed. They seem to pay off at the minute, so we can push on now for a winner. There we go, we're off again. Berbatov is beating my Scott too easily for my liking here. Might have to put him on a specific training to make sure he doesn't get past as easily. Because if that was one of the more dangerous players of the league, like Robin Van Persie, he'd make mincemeat out of him. And he'd be banging goals in. Of course, like he has been all season. Oh, Man United have the lead again. Darren Fletcher 2-1. Doesn't look like was, this is going to go our way, which is not... Well, it'd be a lie to say I'd be disappointed if we lost, but it's not high priority winning the Community Shield. I mean, the, the main one is the Premier League, obviously, which obviously we've just won in real life, which I'm happy about. Uh, and then also our Champions League. And then obviously your minor ones like your Carling Cups and your FA Cups are we looking to win as well. I mean, Community Shield does help add to the trophy, but it's not high priority. But I would like to win it here, but it doesn't look like was how it's going to happen. Not unless they could show me something else. Alright, I didn't check out Wasteful again there. I don't think I have a strike on the bench, or I would bring one on for Jekko. No, I don't. That's, I'm going to have to stick with him.
Right. Half an hour left. Come on, we can we can equalise here. Oh, that looked like a good save from that. Always the reliable. Oh, my United coming close now to getting third, which surely would put it out of reach. Fellini, who are you passing it to there? Oh, everyone seems to be tempted in long shots for some reason. I don't know if that's something to do with like confidence or something. Obviously, we're winning. The confidence is high, so the taking long shots, I'm not actually quite sure. Oh, another save from Hart there, and Richard clears it. At the minute, it doesn't look like we have a chance of winning this game, which is slightly disappointing, especially after the good start we made. Oh, it's a foul from Lescott there, my United have a free kick. Oh, Dimitar Berbatov foul. Come on, lads. 20 minutes left. We'll get an equaliser. Aguero, see? But another long shot. I don't get what, why they having so many long shots. They're not going to go in. It's better to just work it into the box and try and slide it home. Oh, they're currently a man down. Fernand is receiving treatment. Hopefully we can take advantage of this. I know he's back on now. So, didn't last very long. In the last couple of highlights or so, we seem to be in the game more, but we're not, not really doing anything with our chances, which is slightly worrying, because the amount of money that's been invested in this team and the squandering quite easy chances of course I'm not just going to go out and spend 50 million on another striker because these are misfiring um, I know I'll probably have the budget to do that but I don't think it's it, it ruins it slightly even though it is what happens in real life I want, I want to make it more of a challenge for myself, so I'm going to set a limit of maybe only spending 30 million a season. Unless, obviously, I need a. Our company's injured there. Oh, that's just disappointing. I've got on the bench, but I need a maneuver. Unless, of course, it's. I need someone desperately. Like I said, I can't see me needing someone. That desperately spent over 30 million, but you never know. Right, I'm not very happy there. I'm far from pleased. Obviously, they seem motivated with that. So, yeah, that's the first competitive game. Join us next time where. Let's um, just check who we've got. And Man United again, this time at Old Trafford for the first game of the Premier League season. Join us then.